The Spartans' historic baseball season continued out in Joliet today with their first ever state semifinal game. Sycamore playing at the home of the Slammers, taking on Nazareth Academy. The Roadrunners have some pretty good coaching on their side. That's Hall of Famer Jim Tomey, his son, freshman son, Landon, playing second base today. And Jimmy Amphman was on the bump for the Spartans today, one of our Athletes of the Week. The senior was doing a nice job out there in the second inning. He gets the ground ball to get out of the jam with two runners on. But in the third, the Roadrunners, they'd start pushing some runs across the first one. Coming off a soft liner, just getting through the infield on the second base side to make it a 1-0 game. And in the same frame, Landon Tomey as a man on third, puts a good swing on it and gets the sacrifice fly. Amtman only allowed two runs throughout, but Tommy Townsend would have to come in in relief. Sycamore was threatening in the bottom of the third. Matthew Rosado rips a double down the left field line to put runners on second and third, but can't play to run across. The Spartans pitching and defense keeping this one close throughout. Nice play from Lucas Winburn at first to end the inning. But the Roadrunners defense just not giving an inch all game, holding Sycamore to just four hits. And Nazareth wins the state semifinal three to nothing. It's a really good baseball game played by two quality teams. You know, I mean, when you get to this point, you're playing the best teams in the state. You're facing the best pitchers in the state. And uh, we had a couple chances early in the game. We just weren't able to come through. Uh, and they were able to punch through for the two runs that they got early. Um, you know, we had, we had guys on first and third and one out. And guys on second and third, no outs, and weren't able to score. And, you know, like I said, we had the right guys. We had chances to do it. Uh, but in the end, we just lost a baseball game today. The Spartans play Effingham in the third place game tomorrow at 9 a.m.